Hairbring Comedy Presents. This is Picking Fights with DJ Dangler and the world famous Jasper T. Colbert. This is UFC 273, big number, tiny fighters. This is a good card. There are good fights on it. Yep. That being said, I feel like this is a by the books card. Yeah. I mean, I, so what do you go? How, how does it work? Like, we, I ain't happy when there's one good fight and a bunch of, like, one great fight and a bunch of little shit. But then I, I'm also not satisfied when you just give me five good fights. Same. Yeah, it, it is. It is sticky. Um, I feel like this is a setup for a lot of fights I do want to see. Yep. I feel like this is making sure. I yep. feel like this card is made to fill out highlight reels for a card that has a more divisible number. I think this fight card is like all them people that was getting mad when they found out that Dune movie was a part one. UFC 273 in parentheses, UFC 280, the prequel. Kelvin Gasolum. 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 Kelvin Gasolum is uh, taking on Nazardine Amavov. Amavov. That's a hell of a name he got there. Yeah. Let's talk about fucking vowels. This guy's got... This if this guy was on fucking uh, Wheel of Fortune, you would never guess his fucking name. You're you like, I got fucking seven it. S's. I got two U's. You know, it's a hard name when they spell it differently in the Wikipedia when you're looking, <laughs> at it. and they do. Uh, that being said, hard name, hell of a fighter. Yep. Master Dean, eighty-two percent finish rate. Yep. Do you think he's gonna finish another one? No. I think he's going to fucking win, but he ain't going to finish Kelvin. Kelvin's okay. head's made of fucking concrete, man. He ain't got no neck. Kelvin's had a rough few fights. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. One, oof. Oof. Yes. One in six. Checking the record. or is, Yeah. One out of his last six. Yeah. That's he's not never, great. He's never been knocked out, but he is. He's entering that kind of inopportune, well, uh, that unenviable position of being... What the uh, a jobber? Yeah, yes, he he's starting to he's entering Hammenager status. His yeah. trunks ain't gonna have no logos. He ain't even gonna have no arm tassels. They're not, gonna, they're not gonna announce him on the way to. The, he's just gonna be in the octagon when Nazareth yeah. makes it. Yeah, look, he look. He can't main event TV cards anymore. No. And so curtain jerker on pay per view. This is the last stop, man. That and. Like he's a fun dude, man. He he he's a fun dude, uh, but I, I think that all this is about is that Nasrine. I don't know how you go three and one in the UFC, and I've never fucking heard of you. So that they're trying to solve that right now, and either either Kelvin gets a win in front of people's eyes and casuals don't realize that he lost so many fights, or. Nasrine gets a, a nice win over somebody people recognize, and, and now he's one of them dudes. I think that's exactly it. And if if Amavov does finish Kelvin, that's a huge feather in his hat because every time you see him now, they're allowed to say he knocked out Gaslam, the one who's never been knocked out. I know that's a long shot, but I got to think that's what they're hoping for is just adding something to, to make Nazardine more interesting. We have Mackenzie Dern taking on Tesha Torres, the tiny tornado, Tesha Torres. Well, I mean, tiny, I would have gone Dizzy Devil. Isn't that there, a little yes. Yep. 85% uh, decision wins. Yep. That's not great, but a no. lot of wins. A lot of them. Yep. And then, how fun is Mackenzie Dern? Yeah, she's, she, man, Mackenzie Dern, that it's definitely, uh, the marketing team knows Mackenzie Dern is where it's at. Like, that's, uh, Mackenzie Dern's fun. Uh, she's hot. Like I, you know, ever since the the women divisions have really become popular, it, it's a it's a tough thing because I don't know how I'm supposed to figure in hotness into my picks because I, I obviously I want to my favorites are the hotter ones, but I I don't know if that means they can fight better. Uh, I don't I think that means smart bets. I'll tell you what, I figured this out with that dream boat, Andre Arlovsky. 
Ty goes to the sexier fighter. <laughs> Ty goes to the sexier fighter. Okay. Yes. That's it. That's it. No other advantage. You don't adjust scoring. Just Ty goes to the sexier fighter. As far as fighters go, Tasha Torres is a piece of ass. But uh, Mackenzie Dern is like a regular people piece of ass. So I don't know. If they, if they stay on the feet, Tisha might do it. But my, I got, my money's got to be on Mackenzie Dern. Mackenzie Dern by submission. And Tasha Torres has real good wrestling. Uh, yeah. Not flashy, but she's good at getting on top of you. And I don't think Dern's going to be able to submit those five foot one arms. But I mean it is a little fucking tiny limb to try to be getting your hands on. If Tisha Torres had better had a more more uh more ground and pound finishes, then I'd be on that team. But the, it, I, she's just gonna have to hold position on the ground because Mackenzie Dern is one of them where it's like just touching the ground is terrifying. I also, and I, I hate to admit it, and I'm not going to look into it, and I'm not going to disparage any referees, but it, this might be a fight that is dictated by how the referee stands them up. Tisha Torres has never been finished. Yeah. Five losses by decision. That's a big deal. I'll tell you what, she's also fighting. She's from Florida, fighting in Florida. I'll go Tiny Tornado. I would love it just as a fight fan and a sports fan and a jerk. I would love it if these two women got fight of the night with all of these terrific fighters on the card. Yeah. I think it's honest, like, as far as stylistically goes, it has a real good shot. Yeah, it does. It, it does. I mean, as a matter of fact, like, now looking down the card, like, man, fight of the night that could go pretty much any goddamn direction here. It, it could. Gilbert Burns, number two. Mm -hmm. Massive underdog. Massive underdog. Yep. To uh, Kamzat Chimiev. Yeah, man, Boars. I'm on the Boars train, baby. That, I, that he he won me over, man. He he like a he's a fucking tough dude who fucking talks and he goes in there and smashes motherfuckers, man. One hundred percent finish rate. Number and, seven, oh. jumping up to fight number two. If he smashes Gilbert fucking Burns, man. Then mm. I'm just like, take my fucking monies for that Usman title fight. Oh, that's holy shit! And I, I, I'm looking, I'm looking past Gilbert Burns, and he's a great fucking fighter. Because I'm like, this is just another fucking highlight reel for Boers, baby. I hear you, and it's hard to not get caught up in that. Ten fights, ten finishes. Yes, amazing. Uh, everybody just talks about how he is the real deal. I don't even want to say that I don't believe it because I do. I just think Gilbert Burns is really hard to stop. And I also think this is Gilbert Burns' last time at the top. Okay. You, you, think, you think experience back against the walls going fucking, that's going to be the deciding factors here? Yeah. yeah okay. I, I'll even go, I'll go so far as to say no. But with that level of underdog, if I'm betting money, I'd put a couple of dollar bills on Gilbert Burns uh, instead of just throwing money on the Kamzat train. Okay. So if, I, if we were just betting, if it was just you and me and you said, who do you like? Yeah, Jimmy is, is a real good fighter. But if you were to show me those odds, I'd put money on Burns. Okay. I think Burns is being discounted. I think he's being, I think he's being talked about in an offensive manner. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about him in an offensive manner. I'm not giving him any fucking credit for his amazing career because I'm just blinded by the boars, baby. You think Kamzai will finish him? I got to think so. Why not? Yeah. I got to think so. All right, so I'm going to disagree with you on this one too, but I'm disagreeing the money line. Oh, this is the fight that can't be fight of the night. No. Uh, no. Uh, Alderman Sterling's going to give his title back to Peter Jan. Maybe they done something over at Sarah Longo and they got Aljo ready to go, but man, no. Like, he looked fucking stupid in their last fight, and I just can't, I can't even imagine that he's going to do something so dramatically different. Peter Jan's a fucking killer, man. I would love it if Aljamain Sterling made this a fight. Yes. But he didn't last time. No. He was sloppy and jittery and weird. It just didn't, oh, God, no. No. I mean, it, all, all we got to go off of that last fucking fight, man, and it, it just, like, come on. Yeah. Like, I, uh, I don't even want to watch it. Peter Jan, not an old man, right? 
he's what, 29? He looks like the world's oldest toddler. No, but he looks like Benjamin Buttons. Yeah, he does. He looks like the world's most grizzled third grader. Featherweight championship. I think this is going to be a beaten. I think it's going to... I think Korean Zombie is a tough enough dude that he ain't an easy fight for anybody. Nope. But he's a winnable fight for everybody. A winnable fight for top 10 fighters. Yeah, and I... Volkanovski, I mean, if you, if you're fucking twenty three and one, and I don't I don't understand why he's not a bigger UFC star than what he is. It's all there. Uh, I think it's real. Some one, he's really little, and he's from a place where no one lives. People still love Korean Zombie because of ten years ago. Yeah, from an eleven years ago, that Twister. When you're talking about, like, the best guy in the fucking world of the weight class, I just don't think that's what Korean Zombie is. Mm -hmm. No, it, it's not. This is, uh, this is a good fight for Korean Zombie. He always, like, he, he always belongs in consideration. He's a, he's a good fighter, man. But there's a reason he ain't been on pay-per-views mm -hmm. in years. In years and years, you know, like he's a fun guy. Put him on TV; people enjoy watching it. When and when he gets beat, you think that guy that beat him should fight for a title. Three of these fights have people who are favored by more than four hundred. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a fucking lopsided card. What are you most excited about? Uh, seeing Comms out smash. Me too. I think everybody yep. is. There are two title fights on here, but they both pale. In comparison to watching Cosmo. Yep. Yeah. And that's how you know a fucking star. Yeah. Yeah. You're 100% right. All right. Well, that's it. That's picking fights with UFC 273. I'm DJ Dangler. Jasper T. Colbert, baby. Have fun. Later.